grand exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Krat. But, you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare.
Monsters doing here. D don't, don't come any closer. Oh, you're not one of them. Are you here to save me? Those grand exhibition jerks are not to be messed with, especially after they took that drug. Then there are those biological experiments. Oh, how horrid. I can't reveal everything, but suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way of it. Please, wipe out all those mongrels. Please, wipe out all those mongrels. It'll be easier to breathe once that horrid victor has been taken out. Once you're done, I'll see you at the hotel.
study the human condition, there's no better way than my riddle position. You know how it is. It's time for a quiz. Today's riddle might have you over the barrel. Mm -hmm. But get this one wrong and you will be in peril. So, answer correctly or tango with danger. But when you quiz with the king, danger's no stranger. Now, listen closely and heed the king's speech or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Think about this, whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. In this city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet spotty? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So, I'll reward you with a hint. At the grand exhibition, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the woman of cold. Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly.
This is where evolution becomes real. Fear me. I am victory. The champion! to the followers of the truth!
Open your eyes. Gaze upon the
I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? I have to admit some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational as we are. I'm impressed, even if it's a lie. I'm sorry I underestimated you for being a puppet. You're open-minded enough to hear the truth about the petrification disease. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes. The ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet, and I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the Alchemists, isn't hospitable.
startle you. It seems that the power of the listener within me, the power to hear Ergo, is getting stronger. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future, even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me, in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel, who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemist's victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Petrification disease. Puppet frenzy and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power, and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare.
device must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet. I was so worried when you marched off to fight the king. But this... It's a necklace from the Monad Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate, and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The King's Ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill. Ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens, you look... secret of Ergo. Whatever choice you make, I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krop. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Krod? Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe the gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. No matter what, sir, be welcome. No 
no matter what sir welcome It's not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. I know my way around a There is a new guest at the hotel, and that you had a little something to do with that. I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers, everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ta! And here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares, huh? Now, let's get out there and save my... That is, our city. Ah, <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand Ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes Ergo-driven puppets gain what we call Awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So... The King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices.
This is a change I didn't expect. Did the King of Puppets get you? Or some other ruffians? I'm glad you're growing. But I'm not sure what to make of this. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy for me. Ah, I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. I knew the alchemists were up to something. Something more sinister than just a cure. I should have known. Never trust an alchemist, I always say. But in desperate times, I broke my own rule. This is tragic news, especially for Antonia. Do what you can to keep her heart from breaking. The barren swamp was originally vacant, useless land. It became a massive dumping ground when the factory started disposing of puppets. The polluted groundwater spawned strange creatures. Hmm. Perhaps similar to the ones in the cathedral. Definitely worth an investigation. And rumors whisper of rare treasure in a monster's nest. Why don't you go look for it, son? People call them the Alchemists of the Isle. Their headquarters must be on an island across the sea. But it's not on any charts. I remember tales of an underground dock in Krat, where the Alchemists would embark. That's all I know. Krat Central Station. Yes, it's where you woke up. There used to be a workshop near the station. However, the puppets destroyed it when they attacked. Many of the puppets have moved on, but now... Strange monsters lurk nearby. Be careful if you go back. You're precious to me. Ah, 
How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. S -s Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are... you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Thanks for keeping me. At the house of Annie. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. That's something, I guess. Ciao, Bello. 
It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? Can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? <gasps> we knew you were a true friend. And generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the Alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so... I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. I never forget a friendly face. Now go. Honestly, I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet... Thank you. Truly. I'm not saying I'm ready to set up housekeeping, or that I even trust you. <laughs> but given time, I think we could become actual friends.
This place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this, but it's a puppet graveyard. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it?
Those damn alchemists. The terms of bargain. Almost intolerable. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow, gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. What's this? A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <coughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. About my request last time, did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. <sighs> Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. <sighs> All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift, because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but... I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks.
exist? Are the puppets like me not bound by the Grand Covenant? I thought I was forever alone. Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monsters, humans, puppets, they all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn how to feel. Hello, my only friend. What have you come to tell me? I see now how scary losing someone can be. I may not be able to cry, but I hope I can comfort others now. Thank you. Hello, my only friend. Clapping is... Uh, the mimicry of a joyful heart. It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks.
Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grant cannot have any more live patients. Trust me, it's better this way. Tis far nobler to die as a human. No vital sign. You must be dead. I'll dispose of you properly. My judgment as a doctor, all should end while they're still humans.
That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. Open this. Aladora would know. Uh, hey, are, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Aladoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow Aladoro's traces. But, ugh, this lock has me at a dead end. And I so wanted to explore the Hermit's Cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. My treasure. Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device. But I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say. No honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. Life is short. All I can do is keep... You never heard of Aladoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. And unlike a lot of the riffraff and Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo, and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Aladoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Aladoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. The rumors? Well, for starters, they're nonsense. Aladoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Aladoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it.
Life is short. All I can do is... You're a worthy hunter, and it... Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh, dear. Your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see. <sighs> Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless, as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. You're a worthy hunter. Of a new... Master Vanini's collection box. You are indeed full of surprises, sir. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? I always welcome. There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. You don't remember much beyond.
How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Getting involved sounds like trouble to me. You can find the stolen goods on your own. Getting involved sounds like trouble to me. Life is short. All I can do... Uh, you actually met Alidoro and asked him about the Wanted poster. That's odd. Alidoro and Medoro are friends. When I was hurt, he took me to Medoro, who was one of the first on the scene. Medoro is quite the medic. He saved me when the workshop tower fell. There's gotta be a logical explanation. The Alidoro I admire would never talk about a friend like that. But... Who knows, maybe that wanted poster is real. You keep an eye on him, if you see him again. In times like these, when truth and lies are blurred, the only thing to believe is your gut instinct about a person. I trust Alidoro. He wants to save people and seek out the truth. Anyhow, you gave me the first lead on Alidoro I've had in months. Take this in return. Consider it a gift suitable for times like these. Life is short, and life in Krat... All I can do is keep... 